Hello everyone, this is Red Robot, and today here on TF2 Challenge Mode, I'm going to be trying out the Sharpened Volcombo Fragment. Uh, basically, I'm using the Sharpened Volcano Fragment as a combo with the Flare Gun. Now, uh, you may notice that this is uh, incredibly similar to something known as a Puffin Sting, where you uh, Flamethrower, Ear Blast, and Flare Gun an enemy just for a quick execution with the uh, Critical Flare Gun. I figured, alright, that's just too easy. We've got to put in the Volcano Fragment, one of the worst weapons in the game, and uh, just just try to get something done. Um, now, it's really easy and really fun to rag on the Volcano Fragment. Like, it's such an incredibly backwards weapon, especially when you compare it with something like the Degreaser. After all, the Degreaser allows you to see people on fire at much further ranges with putting yourself in less danger. Plus, you can air blast and everything to juggle enemies around while you're doing it. But uh, trying to hit people with the Volcano Fragment and it actually kind of working was really, really funny. Uh, I got a huge kick out of it every time I managed to pull the combo off because um, if, you, if you manage to do it, it's, it's really something special. It was really unfortunate. As the game dragged on and on, it seemed like the enemy team was just getting more and more and more fire immune uh, classes. Like, I was fighting a ton of pyros, fighting a ton of charge and touch demo knights, and it's like... And this is like the worst case scenario for this weapon. After all, you can't even flare punch past fire immunity by using uh, flame particles because you only ignite on hit, which makes this weapon completely worthless versus these classes. I mean, plus it has the reduced damage penalty, which means that it's really terrible at fighting things that are fire immune anyway. Uh, I may as well would have been doing so much better using just the power jack or even the fire axe. That's right, the fire axe would have been a better option in a lot of these cases. I was trying my best to resist air blasting. Uh, air blasting would have made this a whole lot easier if I could just keep uh, popping people up into a corner for the easy ignite with the volcano fragment and the finish off with the uh, flare gun. And it would have come in handy so much when fighting dead ringer spies because as we all know, dead ringer spies now have a little fire immunity once you pop the ringer. So uh, you can hit them with the volcano fragment, they'll disappear, won't be ignited. You can hit them again and they won't be ignited like even afterwards and they'll be able to get away with the speed boost. It's such a terrible weapon and it's so bad in nearly every situation. Sure, the few times when I got the combo off it was pretty impressive, but I could have done it so much more effectively with the Degreaser or, or any flamethrower for that matter. However, wouldn't be challenge mode if it was all easy. And the one thing that I love the most about these challenges is just how it forces you to use these weird weapons in wacky ways in order to try and get some sort of result out of it. And here's me trying to get a few taunt kills. I think I'd probably have done way better if I had just been air blasting people into the air and going for taunt kills only, because there were some pretty unaware people on the server, and I'm pretty sure I could have made it work. Playing with the Volcano Fragment so much, I actually came up with a little idea that could potentially make it more useful, or more useless depending on the way you look at it. If the initial swing was counted as fire damage, it could be used to build up the flog charge. Let's say you swing a random crit and you're able to fill up a big chunk of your flog when you just needed it. That could be a, a potential way this is useful, but I mean, at the same time, why not just puff and sting them? This weapon is so useless, but uh, trying to find a way to make it useful, trying to find ways to make any underused or underpowered weapon interesting and fun or good is kind of what I'm all about, and uh, I'm glad I did this challenge because it certainly opened my eyes to the uh, uselessness of the Volcano Fragment, but also the fact that you don't actually need to air blast stun someone in one place to hit them with the flare gun. It's entirely possible to, you know, just aim slightly ahead of the person when they're strafing or or just predict their movement. I mean, <laughs> there's really no need for air blast to be a complete stun. Come on guys, why don't we fix that? And with everything trailing off to unrelated topics, I think it's time to end it there. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys next time.